not enough income to qualify and you need to borrow a little bit more, I'm going to go over different types of income that will give you that extra boost. Let's do this. How's it going? My name is John and I am a mortgage broker located in Vancouver. If you want to learn ways to be approved for a mortgage, home buying tips and other mortgage related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking on the vacation bell so it won't miss anything. We all know Vancouver housing prices are expensive. So maximizing your income to maximize your borrowing power is what lots of people are requesting for. We know income plays a big part of the mortgage approval and of course your salary will determine approximately how much you can qualify. But we can get a little bit more with income that you may not know uh, will help you qualify. So let's get to it. First thing is disability income. If you are on a long term or permanent disability, we can use that income as well. Documents banks may need to see are a letter from your insurance company confirming the amount you are receiving. Also, you need to provide recent statements showing the amounts are deposited. Next is spousal support. Child and spousal support are often available in a breakdown of a marriage. Banks will need to see a copy of the separation agreement, which will list out the amount responsible for each party in the relationship. If you have a net gain in their agreement, that amount can be added as income. But on the flip side, if you have net negative, then that will work against you as it will be considered a monthly debt. Next is Canadian Child Benefit. Yes, Canadian Child Benefit. You can actually use this income as well. Simply show confirmation that you do indeed receive it from your CRA profile. There are age restrictions though. Generally, banks are able to use it as long as the child is 12 years old or younger. Next type of income is maternity leave. So for moms-to-be, this is a big concern if you need to upgrade to a new home, but you're no longer working because you're on mat leave. That's okay. Banks can use your full income as long as there's a letter from your employer stating your return date in 12 months and that you are guaranteed your position and pay when you return. Next type of income, rental income. If you have a rental property, we can use it to bump up your mortgage amount or offset the mortgage payment that you currently have. Banks usually need to see your two years of tax filing and tenancy agreement. If it's a new rental and you have not had that income reported yet, that's okay as well. Some banks will allow a market rent report. This is completed by a licensed appraiser and we can project approximately how much you can potentially receive from rent. So lastly, it's investment income. We can use your investment income uh, to bump up your mortgage as well. This is usually interest and dividend payments. Same as rental income, we'll need your last two years of tax filing and banks will use the average amount to determine the income. And there you go. We just went over alternative income you can use to maximize your income so that you can increase your borrowing power. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more and make sure you click on the notification bell so you won't miss a video. I'm John Lee, mortgage broker and CEO of Rise Mortgage. We're always achieving your approval.